Welcome to the channel. I'm SmileyFaceX and I'm going to put my Australian infantry experience to the test in Door Kickers 2. Recently, we done a Iron Man challenge utilizing the SWAT team. And within that challenge, a couple of the uh, missions didn't exactly go to plan. We didn't get much out of them. So I thought today I'd take the Rangers in, uh, do the missions properly, see if we can crack them out a lot better than the uh, SWAT attempt for one reason or another. So, yeah, I guess we'll just have to see how they go. This is one of the missions that you've seen the two attempts that I had on it, where the hostage goes down both times. And the second mission we'll be given a crack is this one here, which we also, uh, you know, kind of just got minced on our way in. So we'll crack out both these with the rangers to the best ability that we can and see how we go with it all. All right, let's, uh, let's get into it. All right, let's get into the planning once again. So yeah, I still believe the southern side is the spot to assault from. But in saying that, we do have this car that we can utilize as hard cover to fight through the lane. But if we go here, then we kind of blind to the corners. So if we uh, frag both corners, post up here, and then maybe get a little grab team here just to uh, like bang and take it, that might be the play. So let's set that up. We want precision fire because it's a hostage. We don't want to be fucking rolling a machine gun that could splash it. So let's get say two, uh, two snipers up here. And then we need some grenades into the corners of the buildings. Uh, let's go grenadiers for this job. I feel like would be beneficial. So those two go in, these guys punch this. Um, once they punch it, they probably just sit there. Seems like a good enough spot to protect the flank. All right, then down here, we got four dudes still. See, I don't think we want to do any more up top. I think we've kind of hit our limit here. But these guys down south, these are the, um, you know, these, these guys need to be assaulters. They're actually, they're actually doing a bit of assaulting. Alright, let's do some loadouts and I'll get back with you. Alright, we got everybody in place. Let's get things set up. Alright, I think we got everyone in the initial kind of spots. Let's uh let's bang this area as well, just to make sure. And we'll do all of that on alpha, so let's let people get in position. Alright, this did not go to plan already, I'm going to be honest. He was looking the wrong way. Oh! Okay. That's a lot better. better. These two both got chipped a little bit, but that's fine. One guy taking a hit from this guy, but I think we're okay. There is one guy coming close. Alright, let's get him out. We did lose that guy because we were just looking in the wrong direction. Let's keep it going. Yep. Oh, I just wasn't covering the angle. Ah, well. Looked a little bit sloppy, not gonna lie. It can be done better, and I want it done better. Let's do it better. We're gonna make this one fast. Alpha, go.
Alright, so far so good. Get up in these corners once again. Brownie's taking a little bit of gunfire, but we're okay. Okay, so far, so good. Let's see if we can secure this side. Looks okay. Let's get Garcia around here just to check it out. Alright, now that they're good, let's punch in with our marksman. They're just watching the lane. That's all they have to do. Alright, now that they're in, this is the main threat. So let's jump in the window, see what we can see. Same, same over here. And we need to be covering this guy's 6 o'clock. This doesn't... I mean, this is a little bit annoying. We'll put this guy like that so he can cover the flank. But we need somebody to be covering this avenue of approach. Oh, good shooting. Alright, I think we're ready to go for the hostage. So, let's do that. Get him back out. Alright, hostage one is secured. Alright, now we can punch for number two. Which is going through this way. Alpha, go. Alright. Good shot. Again, we're going to flip this. So he comes in and then pushes to the car. Once the corner is clear, he's watching that way. This guy's watching long. And once he's good, he clears the back of the car. Good, the back of the car is clear, we crack the door, we got the cover to protect us, if we need it. Looks good, check the corner. And we're good. Alright, another hostage, let's grab him and get him out. Uh, we don't want to push just yet. Let's just push out on security. Alright, this guy's in a bit of an obsolete spot, so we're going to put him in a better spot to watch that. Go around security. This guy's now in a bad spot, so he's going to push forward. This guy's also obsolete. He needs to be pushing. We do have a bit of a blind spot here, so let's do something like that. <clears throat> Alright, now this building. This entrance is shit. And it's the only entrance, so we might be blowing out the windows, maybe. We will see. Let's approach the... Uh, let's approach it anyway. Let's see what we're looking at. We want them pinned up on the cover if we can. Alright, it looks okay. We can hit the back of it actually, which is pretty safe. I would say. Let's 
Let's wait to hit the back and then we'll push forward after that. We're in built up positions. Let's take it steady. This guy does lack six o'clock security though. Okay. Yeah, we're looking pretty good so far. We do need one more to do what we're doing though, is the problem. Let's just take away the corridors. And now we can run this guy in. All right, now that he's here, let's kick this. Hey, perfect. That's what we wanted. Oof, just need to be a bit more deliberate with it. Clean run. Nice. Let's watch that one back. That one was that was fun. Let's put it on two times just to speed things up for you. Alright. Take out the perimeter, which isolates them inside, takes away their situational awareness. And then we bang the main threat. Long distance precision fire. Don't commit until we have the outside, you know, cordoned off. And then we push through once we're all good and ready and take the hostage. As soon as we've got one, we escort them out and then we push for the next. Make sure we go around cover just in case we need to use it. Don't know if you need to or not, but just in case you do, it's there for you. Just like that. Next hostage. Take him and go. And we start pushing up dudes. We got a lot of dudes that were, uh, you know, obsolete. So we started pushing them forward. Get a nice set perimeter on this building. Yeah, this guy's real uh, blind to his flank right now. I should have pushed this guy through way long ago. Last one. All right, not too bad. On with the next one. All right, this was the next one, the Maniac's Mission, or Maniac's Mansion. So we just kind of got fucked as soon as we made entry. I feel like the, the plan was solid. We just got absolutely wrecked by it. Uh, so we've got hostages. I think what we want to do this time is really just get dudes in the mix. Okay, I think I want two guns, one on each side. Uh, do you want two, two guns might be overdoing it. Let's go a gun and a, a gun and a sniper. Okay. The gun can put suppressive fire here while the sniper pushes. We need a bunch of assaulters. One, two, grenadiers are always good. Actually three and four. That leaves us with two purse. Do we want to do a cheeky two out the back? So we can either go with this or we can do a cheeky two. What are the cheeky two going to achieve? I mean, I guess they take away this corridor, but how useful is that corridor? Not particularly useful. I mean, we could smoke this and push this way, but then we're still... Yeah, I don't know. Let's put two back there and I've got no idea what they're going to do if I'm being honest. If I'm being completely honest, I have no idea what they're going to do. Alright, do we need any wall breaches? 
So the plan was to come through here and clear it this way, which is fine. Uh, and then clear it this way, which is also fine. Getting in here is okay. Once we get to here is where it gets tricky. So does a wall breach solve that? So like potentially one maybe here to get in this way. Because if we can take the main room, then we don't have to worry about this as much. And this becomes a lot easier. So I want to take the main room before we take this is what I'm thinking. So that'll just be doing something around that. So I don't think we particularly need wall breaches. I think, I think slaps will do just fine. What about this building down here? One hallway. This, this room's easy. This room's easy. Then we just take the hallway, hit each of these. Nah, that should be fine. All right, let's just, these guys up here, I mean, they're, they're up there all alone. Should we get some suppressors? Nah, that'll be right. All right, the play. These guys are just going to hold it down from a distance, just in case a fucking suicide vest dude comes. We do want to make sure that old mate can see the door, though. Yeah, that's probably it. All right, those two are, are set. And then we want to pop smokes, which I don't have on the GLAs. Nice. Absolutely should. So we want smokes to go as far as we possibly can. Let's make sure these guys are not moving until alpha. All right. Now that we do have a little bit of range, let's put some smokes down. Kind of want to see just popping one right here might be the play. Yeah, big cheese. You just drop one right here. Don't want to do one that that close is the problem. Yeah, let's let's cancel this one. I don't think we need that smoke. I think we want we want one in between here to there. So I think that'll about do where it is. Then he'll have machine gun support. And then Manzini is just going to have to do his business. All right, let's, let's work this out. I've already started shooting. All right, smoke is out. Which means we can come out here and a little bit more and we want to do a fire control order. I want to suppress everything including the cars. Once he's doing that we want to bring the boys around the outside of him. And then we simply wait for the uh, thing to clear. One couple of dudes took a shot. Alright, that should be enough. 69 rounds, nice. Alright, so I think now is when we can push through to the car itself. So let's go with uh, Manzini and this guy. All right, we've got that secured. Next thing we want to do is get our gun up there as well.
All right. Now that our gun is pushing in place, the next thing we want to do is push two lads over to the cars. And get everybody else inside as well. Probably want to push our GLAs to the cars. So let's do that. And then green will go for the, uh, yeah, go that way. Avery will do the same as soon as yellow comes. Short. Okay. All right. We've got control of this door, which is just fine. We're going to keep sweeping around these cars. One car at a time, just keeping it nice and steady. This guy's got a nice job, so we'll use this guy to clear the window. Looks okay. Let's keep it going to the next car. Looks good there. Let's crack the next window. Again, it looks okay. And then we have control of this. Alright. This is where we have some options, okay? Because right here, we probably can just leave Manzini alone, to be honest. I think he's kind of cooking. So we might reload Scotch, and then after Scotch is reloaded, we'll bring him up this way. Once he's got this door covered, that's kind of the initial... what we need to... um you know, start taking shit. Alright. Uh, by taking shit, I mean taking the main entry. I'm going to prop it up from these windows. Uh, cool. From here, we want to scoot around the outside, but I want Avery to take a window. So, Avery's going to do that. These guys are going to push this way. Actually, you know what? They kind of don't have to. Because I completely forgot that we have people on alpha. Let's push around the outside of this. Oh, these pot plants are real annoying. Alpha, go. There we go. Alright, green can get stacking as well. I don't think we particularly need to fuck around too much with this. Let's just get it. Alright, good. All eyes on the next door, which is actually a really annoying door. Uh, okay, what's the best angle is probably this. But it's not pretty. All right, again, not going to fuck around too much with it. Wrong priority work. Should be something like that. All right, we got a little bathroom, so let's go crack that. Want to make sure that per pink is in a position where if the doorway swings... The main door that is, he can cover it. Blue's just gonna go on this. And it's all good. 
All right, this is the point where we can think about taking the main door. Which means having someone in here to open these doors for our supporting cast would be really good. But I think what's going to happen is we're just going to have to um, prep it and go with bangs. Alright, let's get out of the way a little bit. Let the bangs do their work. No way. Alright, we gotta swing this like immediately. Yeah, I see it got fucking lit up, but. Oh. That really just ruined every plan that I had. Not every plan, just very annoying. Alright, let's crack this. I think we can make entry, I want to say. Oh, we definitely don't want to do it by cracking a door though. We can safely bring these guys in and crack the fucking things. Sniper's putting in work. Ah, looks really good. Push forward, somewhere like that, I don't care. Close enough's good enough as far as this one goes. All right, and these two can focus on doing what they're doing. These guys can also push if we want. They are a little bit vulnerable to the south, but... Let's just keep pushing in. Uh, there's an outside. The fact that there's an outside changes that we we actually do want to go with these guys. Nice. Looks pretty good. We're going to take it with purple. Let's keep it going, keep it going. We can't actually take this just yet. Unless we want to take it solo. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. I'm going to take this one solo though. Alright, we're good. So we just got this little area, this little area, and this, and then the other building. So I think we might get, I mean, there's no hard cover this way. I'd love to cover this, but there's just no hard cover. So we're not going to do that. We do have to keep one guy in here to, actually, we don't need rear and flank security because this guy is picking it up. So we can just 
punch into the next room. Make sure we're ready before we kick it. All right, we are set. The rest of the room's good. Push to the open doorway. You guys are looking the wrong way. Not an issue. Push that way, see what you can see out of it. You can come in and support. We'll clear the bathroom first. Hey, that was it. Not too bad, Garcia had to give up his life, but a much better hit out than the, uh, the previous attempt anyway. Let's watch that back. Let's go two times. Alrighty. It's mainly about these lads and just having a slower approach. It's the benefit of having longer range weapons, right? The machine guns, the, um, sniper rifles. I mean, once you got the outside secure, like it's, it's just taking rooms at that stage, which is the easy part. It's just the middle was a bit iffy. Would have been real nice to, you know, bang that as well as like slap and bang, but we really just didn't have time. Manzini just puts in work, like locking down the outside here. Alpha, go. That's the importance of like doing your analysis and shit like that, like. Yeah, where is he? Where's Garcia? The big dog. Putting himself in a bad situation, but you gotta do what you gotta do to save the life sometimes. Mm. Alrighty, that about wraps it up. I do have one more mission video idea for the next one. Uh, but if you've got any other suggestions, you let me know because I'm all free and ready to do it. All right, we'll catch you on the next episode. See you later. Peace.